Her eyes are good, her ears are good, her hips are good. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a two week baby update slash postpartum update. So we just got back from the doctors a little while ago. Um, I put Grace down for a nap. She stayed with my mother-in-law. Um, I'm filming at a different angle today because my house is a mess. It is a total mess today and I didn't feel like cleaning it up before filming this video. So I thought I would just film at a different angle so you can't see all the mess going on. So let's jump right in to Miss Chloe. Here she is. So obviously we've given her a soother. She's got a little lamb wabanab from Grandma. Hey, Grandma Lulu got that for you? Um, we gave it to her I think like 10 days when she was like about 10 days old. I'm pretty sure it's suggested to wait like four to six weeks to give a soother but everything I've read is says about like breastfeeding being like well established and making um I think they want them to be above their birth weight so that they're obviously gaining weight which she both of those things are good. Breastfeeding is going super well. Um we got back from the doctors like I said and she weighs seven pounds and seven ounces. Now last week's update I said wrong. I think she was I said she was six point she was six pounds eight ounces but she was actually 6.8 pounds which is six pounds 13 ounces super confusing i think i did all of grace's weights wrong because i didn't understand that like when it's like 6.8 that's not six pounds eight ounces anyways um she is seven pounds seven ounces so she's coming up on Grace's birth weight which is crazy because she still seems so tiny but she seems so long I didn't actually get her um like they didn't check her length but she is so long I don't know if she looks long <laughs> stretch out good job um yesterday I had her in a Grace's coming home outfit and she, I don't think she'll wear it again not because she's so big or anything just because she's so long her feet were almost like not curled up but like almost curled up at the ends um yeah so I don't think she'll be wearing that again which it's crazy that she's already outgrowing stuff because she's not even eight pounds but she's a long girl are you gonna be tall I'll be so interested to see like how the girls grow when they get older like if Grace stays like I don't want to say chunkier but I guess that's the best way to put it and see if she stays petite or if they like switch but yeah, um, everything with Chloe was really good at the doctor's appointment. Um, her eyes are good, her ears are good, her hips are good. Um, the only little concern is that her feet are like, I don't know if I, I don't want to undress her. She hates being naked still. That's definitely one thing that she still does not like. Um, her feet, now you don't want to do it, are very like, like when she was first born, her toes were almost like right pushed up against her leg. Um, she obviously was that way when she was in the womb. That's her, like she likes to like cross her legs together, cross her feet together. So we're supposed to like try and push her feet down. Um, not like hard, but like kind of push them down to encourage them to go down. Um, yeah, that's basically the only concern with her. Um, we haven't had her hearing checked yet, but she can definitely hear. She's like jumped um, like at a few loud noises and she is starting to kind of like look at like in the direction of a noise. Hey, you definitely can hear. So I'm gonna check my list, see what else um, I have to say. Oh yeah, next, no, our next appointment, I was gonna say next week, but um, so this was our last appointment with the doctor who delivered her because if you followed any of my pregnancy videos you know that I had multiple doctors because my original doctor went on mat leave when I was like just a few months pregnant. So she comes back this week actually, I think she's back, she came back the first week of October. Um, today is October 2nd by the way, um, she's officially two weeks old today. Um, so we she her next appointment is at one month old so at that appointment we will go see our original doctor and I'm super excited although I did come to really like my current doctor the doctor who delivered her um, which I'm glad because I didn't like the in-between doctor but anyways yeah we get to go see my original doctor at her next appointment which will be when she's one month old um oh with her weight um the doctor was surprised I guess is the right word um that she'd gained so much weight that 
she actually questioned whether her birth weight was right the sun just totally went away i feel like this got all like dark now it's really weird weather out today by the way it's like sunny and rainy and cloudy all at the same time so sorry the lighting just changed um but yeah the doctor just um, she questioned whether her birth weight was right because she was shocked at how much weight she'd gained um, Like already apparently at two weeks old Usually they see them just coming back up to birth weight, which is like normal, I guess um, so she's a Pound bigger than her birth weight already. She was six one when she was born. She went down to 514 and Then now she's seven seven. So she's doing really good. I'm very proud of her Get your eyeballs kind of half open, hey? Um, so what else is on my list? So she hates being naked. She does like bath time. Her first bath she was not a fan of. She hates getting out of the bath. Um, but she's had three baths. She had her first bath, which she hated. Then she had a bath with me, which she really, really liked. And then she, last night we gave her a bath in her little bathtub, and she actually liked it this time. So I'm glad she likes bath time because that's not fun when your baby doesn't like bath time. Um, she loves her sister. Grace loves her. I'm so, so happy with the bond that they already are forming, and I'm so excited to see it grow. Um, she loves milk. Obviously, she loves to eat. She's gaining a ton of weight. Um, on Sunday night, so two nights ago, she almost slept um, six hours. It was like five hours and 45 minutes or something. I woke her up because my boobs were so full of milk. I was like, you need to eat. It hurts. So, um, she might've slept like about six hours. I figure she would have woken up around six hours, but I was shocked when I woke up and it was over five hours that she had slept. Um, but before Sunday, she like, I guess on the weekend, she wasn't sleeping very long. She was sleeping for like an hour and a half and wanting to eat every like hour and a half so now now that I say that thinking about it maybe she um was like trying to bring up my milk supply like when a baby's like growing like they want more milk they will nurse more often to make your milk supply be more so maybe that's what she was doing um the only other thing that I've written down is that Grace is being a great big sister I know that's not really a Chloe update but I wanted to put it in there because she's just doing so good I'm so impressed um yeah, that's really, I think, all I have to update on for this little one. Hey? This little one. Her hair is still very dark and hasn't fallen out yet. I don't know if it will. She, um, her hands, I don't know if I talked about last week. Her hands were super peely. Um, she's still peeling a bit. Grace peeled all over as well. Um, what else can I say about you? Hey? Um, I try not to give her the soother at night because I find that she doesn't sleep like as long or as well Like she just fusses more because it falls out of her mouth and she doesn't seem to fall into a deep sleep So I try not to give her the soother at night But in the day she definitely likes to have it or in the early morning when she wakes up around like 4 or 5 a.m. Kind of time for a feed then she seems to do well with the soother I'm not sure why she doesn't it, like around like 9 10 11 if she goes down for like for the night around that time um and if, if I give her the soother then she doesn't seem to fall into like a good deep sleep she just sort of fusses um she is very fussy she's not much of a screamer or like she's not really unhappy a lot of the time but she's always like fussy like grunting and moving and wiggling and I don't know what that's about um but she also doesn't burp very good it takes her like a long time and like a lot of like changing positions to get her to burp I don't know why either but it's kind of frustrating but um yeah she seems to be bothered more by not burping than grace was grace didn't seem to be bothered at all or just like burped easily maybe is the difference i'm not really sure but yeah she's more bothered by not burping and is definitely harder to burp hey but i think that's all i have to say about you i think that's all i have to say so, I don't know how long she is, but like I said, she's 7 pounds, 7 ounces at 2 weeks old. Hey, beautiful. Mwah. Okay, now I'm going to put you down on the floor, okay? Actually, I'll go put you in your little cradle, okay? Here, take your susu. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so as far as me, postpartum 2 weeks, I'm feeling super good. I think I said that last week. Um, I have no pain. I have no, um, like, what do you call those? Like, 
after birth contractions or after birth pains or whatever like when she nurses I haven't gotten those and I don't even know how long um, I haven't been taking any Advil or anything like that um, for pain or anything um, my bleeding in the last few days has become almost non-existent but I do remember with Grace it like went away and then came back I don't know if that's because I was like pushing myself too much like uh, doing too much or if that just is a normal thing to happen for it to kind of go away and then come back so I don't know if that'll happen this time um that's pretty much like I don't know what else to say about my my postpartum healing I'm feeling really good better than I did with Grace which I think I said last week um because she was so tiny and just made labor so easy um I don't really know what else to say but I will show my two week postpartum belly it's hard to get that out that was a mouthful <laughs> so there's still like a bump there but um I definitely had some chunk before um being pregnant so here is my belly at two weeks postpartum I definitely have like that mom pouch thing but I'm definitely really happy with see yeah it jiggles um I'm definitely really happy with the way my body is healing this time around I'm hoping to not gain any of that weight back so yeah I'm hoping not to gain a lot of that baby weight back I feel like I'm pretty sure I didn't get weight in my doctor's appointment this time and I don't know a scale but I'm pretty sure I'm back to birth before birth weight or whatever before pre-pregnancy weight that's what I'm trying to say um I'm just gonna grab Chloe so I know most women lose weight when they're breastfeeding but that doesn't seem to be what happened with me with Grace I definitely gained weight back um like uh like first few weeks postpartum I lost all the baby weight or I don't know I never actually weighed myself um like postpartum with Grace but um I lost weight and then I gained a lot of weight back now I don't know if that's from like eating crappy foods and not exercising because I hate to exercise or if it was from breastfeeding but I definitely didn't lose weight breastfeeding like it's like like you know you google anything about breastfeeding and it says that you're gonna lose weight doing it but yeah that doesn't seem to be the case for me anyways is my point um so I'm really hoping that this time around it is the case um I'm definitely going to be more on top of eating healthier and I'm hoping that just looking after two kids will be enough exercise because I really hate exercising hey Coco but I think that is it for our two week postpartum and two weeks old update. Hey, say hi, I'm two weeks old. So I don't think I'm gonna do another one of these next week. Um, I'll probably just start doing them monthly for her like I did with Grace. Um, I wasn't really gonna do a two weeks update but I figured because I just had a doctor's, or she just had a doctor's appointment, I may as well come on here and update. You're getting your eyelashes are longer. So yeah, I think that is all I have to say. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Will you say thank you for watching? Grunty grunt. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to follow our journey. We'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.